Have you ever wondered what America was like before the Europeans arrived? Let's cast our minds back to a time before the dawn of colonization, a time when the Native American tribes were the sole inhabitants of this vast land. These tribes were not merely scattered groups of hunters and gatherers, as some might assume. On the contrary, they were incredibly diverse cultures with sophisticated societies. Each tribe had its own unique traditions, social structures, and ways of life. From the plains of the Midwest to the forests of the Northeast, each region had its unique tribal footprint. One of the most notable examples of this sophistication was the Iroquois Confederacy, a powerful alliance of five tribes in what is now New York State. The Confederacy was a testament to the political and organizational skills of the Native Americans. They had a complex system of representative government with decisions made through consensus, a concept that was revolutionary at the time. But the Iroquois were not the only ones with advanced societies. Far south in the lands we now call Mexico and Central and South America, the Mayans, Incas, and Aztecs built empires that rivaled any in the Old World. These civilizations were responsible for stunning architectural feats, complex calendars, and even systems of writing. Their cities were bustling hubs of commerce, religion, and culture, teeming with life and activity. These pre-colonial societies had a deep respect for the land and its resources. They understood the importance of balance and sustainability, principles that guided their practices in agriculture, hunting, and land management. They were the original stewards of this land, living in harmony with nature long before the concept of environmental conservation came into being. So, as you can see, the pre-colonial era was not a time of primitive simplicity, but rather a time of rich cultural diversity and sophistication. These societies set the stage for the turbulent times to come, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of America. The pre-colonial era was a time of rich cultural diversity and sophistication, setting the stage for the turbulent times to come. Let's delve deeper into that in our next scene. What transpired when the old world met the new world? The tale of the colonial era is a tumultuous one filled with discovery, conflict, and transformation. It begins in the late 15th century when European explorers first set foot on the uncharted landmass that would later be known as America. Driven by the desire for wealth, religious freedom, and the promise of new beginnings, these explorers from the old world began establishing colonies. Jamestown, founded in 1607 by the English, was the first permanent English settlement in America. Plymouth, another significant English settlement, was established in 1620 by the Pilgrims, who sought religious freedom. The arrival of the Europeans was not without conflict. The New World was already inhabited by diverse Native American tribes, and the interaction between these indigenous peoples and the colonists was often fraught with tension and violence. Despite this, there were also periods of cooperation and trade, particularly in the early years. The colonial era also saw the unfortunate development of the transatlantic slave trade. Africans were captured, transported across the ocean, and forced into slavery to work in the colonies. This brutal system of forced labor played a significant role in the economic development of the colonies, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to impact American society. As the colonies grew and prospered, so too did the desire for independence from European rule. The seeds of the American Revolution were sown during this era, with events like the Boston Tea Party demonstrating the colonists' growing dissatisfaction with British rule. The colonial era marked a turning point in history, with the new world forever changed by the old. It was a time of discovery and conflict, of exploitation and growth. It set the stage for the birth of a new nation, forever shaping the course of world history. What sparked the fire of revolution in the hearts of American colonists? Let's journey back to the mid-18th century. The American colonies were under British rule, a regime that imposed heavy taxation without giving the colonists a voice in the government. This was a classic case of taxation without representation, a combustible issue that was the primary catalyst for the American Revolution. But there was more than just taxes at play here. The colonists were also grappling with the oppressive laws and regulations imposed by the British Crown. The colonists' frustration reached a boiling point with the infamous Stamp Act of 1765, 
which required them to pay a tax on every piece of printed paper they used. Then came the Boston Tea Party in 1773, a defiant act of rebellion that flipped the lid on the simmering pot of colonial discontent. Imagine a group of colonists disguised as Mohawk Indians, boarding three British ships and dumping 342 chests of tea into Boston Harbor, a bold statement indeed. But the real game changer was the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Penned by Thomas Jefferson, it was a powerful testament to the colonists' desire for self-governance. It boldly stated that all men are created equal and have the unalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Key figures emerged during this tumultuous period. George Washington, a military genius who led the Continental Army to victory against the formidable British forces, stands out. His leadership, resilience, and strategic acumen were instrumental in winning the war and securing America's independence. And we mustn't forget Thomas Jefferson, the principal author of the Declaration of Independence. His eloquent words captured the colonists' yearning for freedom and their resolve to break away from British rule. The revolution was a testament to the American spirit of freedom and resilience, culminating in the birth of a new nation. It was not just a war, but a movement that defined the ideals and values that continue to shape the United States of America to this day. What was the cost of unity and equality in America? Let's delve into a period of American history that encapsulates this question like no other, the Civil War and the subsequent era of Reconstruction. The Civil War, a brutal conflict that raged from 1861 to 1865, was not just a battle of North versus South, it was a war of ideologies, of deeply entrenched beliefs that clashed and eventually led to the most devastating war in American history. The primary causes of this war were the contentious issues of slavery and states' rights. Slavery, an institution deeply embedded in Southern society and economy, was a major bone of contention. While many Northerners advocated for its abolition, the South, largely dependent on slave labor for its agricultural economy, vehemently opposed this. This disagreement led to a deep chasm between the North and South, eventually culminating in the Civil War key events during the war profoundly reshaped the nation. The Emancipation Proclamation issued by President Lincoln in 1862 declared that all slaves in Confederate territory were to be set free. This didn't immediately end slavery, but it changed the character of the war and was a significant step towards abolition. The Battle of Gettysburg fought in 1863 was another turning point. The Union's victory here marked a major defeat for the Confederacy and it was a pivotal moment that hinted at the eventual Union victory. After the war ended in 1865, the period known as Reconstruction began. This era saw significant efforts to reintegrate the Southern states into the Union and to define the legal status of former slaves. Despite its noble intentions, Reconstruction was a tumultuous period marked by political and racial tensions However, it did lead to significant civil rights advancements, including the 14th and 15th Amendments, which granted African-American citizenship and voting rights. The Civil War and Reconstruction were pivotal moments that redefined the nation's identity and values. These two periods in history, though fraught with conflict and adversity, helped shape the United States into a nation that strives for unity and equality. How did America evolve into the superpower we know today? This is the question that leads us into the 20th century and beyond, a period marked by significant shifts in global power dynamics, technological advancements, and social changes. The century began with America's involvement in two world wars, these conflicts not only reshaped the world's political landscape, but also cemented America's role as a global leader. The nation's participation in these wars propelled its economic growth, with industries booming to meet the demands of war. Post the World Wars, America found itself in the throes of the Civil Rights Movement, a tumultuous period that marked a turning point in the nation's history. The fight for equal rights led to monumental changes, breaking down racial barriers and setting the stage for a more inclusive society. Then came the Cold War, a time of political and military tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. 
This period saw America take center stage in the fight against the spread of communism, further solidifying its position as a global superpower. And as we moved into the 21st century, America faced new challenges in the form of the War on Terror. This ongoing conflict has shaped America's foreign policy and continues to impact the global stage. But it's not just wars and movements that have defined these centuries. Technological advancements have played a significant role in shaping modern America. From the advent of the internet to the development of space exploration, technology has revolutionized the way we live, work, and communicate. Social changes too have left an indelible mark. From the women's suffrage movement to the fight for LGBTQ plus rights, America has witnessed a steady march toward equality and justice. These movements have not only transformed the social fabric of the nation, but have also influenced global trends and norms. The past century has seen America rise as a global leader, marked by triumphs and trials, and continues to shape the world as we know it. From wars to social revolutions, from technological innovations to changes in societal norms, America's journey through the 20th and 21st centuries is a testament to its resilience and adaptability.